I can't tell you guys how many times I've tried to shoot this video and it just hasn't worked out. So one more shot. But before we move on, I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to today's sponsor, Soundstripe. If you guys don't know who Soundstripe is, we're going to be talking about them later on in this video. So I just got back from shooting the project at the North Dakota Horse Expo where I had to cover an event. This event that I'm going to show you guys on the screen now. It takes an incredible amount of skill to be able to ride a horse like that and then also fire off or shoot your firearm or your sidearm right while you're riding that horse. As you can tell, the arena's not small. So covering this event on sticks by myself would have been basically impossible. And a monopod was not going to make it easy for me to move about the arena as I needed to, to cover the event. So I put all of my faith on IBIS image stabilization in body on the camera. And I decided to roll with it. And these are the results. So the best part about all of this, of course, has to be the fact that gear gets out of the way. But before we continue, let me tell you guys about Soundstripe. In case you haven't heard of Soundstripe, Soundstripe is the best royalty-free music for your videos or projects. Their license allows you to use their products on broadcast, on film, on advertising, on YouTube videos, you name it. Not only do they have music, but they also have video and they have sound effects. So let me tell you a little bit about the project. Every single song that you've heard on this video so far, I found on Soundstripe. And all I had to do was log in. Once I'm logged in, I just searched Cowboy. And check this out. I found a few songs that I liked. I liked this one specifically. And you guys have already heard that on the video, right? So when I click on the song, this is one of my favorite, favorite features about Soundstripe. Now that I know I like this song, because I clicked on it, it automatically gave me a playlist of songs that are similar. This is clutch. It saves so much time. It makes it so easy to find music that I want and like. And this is the playlist effectively that you guys have heard on this video. If you guys want to take advantage of Soundstripe, they are having a promo. Be sure to use promo code CarlosQ00 at checkout and you're going to get a discount. So remember to check out Soundstripe and be sure to use promo code CarlosQ00 at checkout so you can save some cash. I highly recommend it and obviously I'm using it. I love the fact that gear is getting out of the way and allowing us to do a better job at telling our stories, at covering about thinking about 
you know, how we're framing up a shot, whether that shot should or shouldn't be in slow motion. And in case you're wondering, every single one of these shots is in focus. So the camera was able to do autofocus and stabilize my image while I'm shooting handheld in this run and gun environment. So I can't thank these camera companies enough because they're making tools that make it easier for us to do our job, to tell our stories. They're getting out of the way. They're making sure that we can work with smaller footprints in tighter spaces with faster, you know, turnaround times and post-production and everything in between. Gear is no longer a factor. And these shots absolutely prove it for me. So of course, I was all excited and wanted to share this with you all because I think that this is exciting. This is a new chapter for me. I never really relied on autofocus. I never really relied on in-body image stabilization. But now I have the confidence. Oh, it is windy today. <laughs> okay. So before I completely knock over this rig, this which by the way, let me just show you guys what it is that I'm using here. So this is what I'm using. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm just in the backyard and I just thought this was convenient. So this is how I'm shooting it because I didn't want to do uh, the whole wearing a cowboy thing or cowboy hat indoors thing it just didn't really make sense. Unfortunately, it's incredibly windy today, so that really means uh, we should probably wrap it up. But what do you guys think? I mean, do you guys think that the shots are usable? Do you guys trust your um, IBIS? Do you use autofocus on a regular basis? Let's continue the conversation in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, and I will catch you guys on the next one. So that was a close one. Take care. If you've never ridden a horse before i'm just going to tell you there's a lot that goes into it and also the relationship between the rider and the horse is incredibly important so not only being able to maneuver around the stage which by the way there are over 80 some odd different arrays that they could set up these different holes with the balloons on them so they the cowboys the people that are competing in the event they don't ever really know what the array is going to look like until right before they start riding. So that's one of the challenges. Then of course, the second thing is that they need to make their way through the course, shoot every single one of those balloons and get back to where they started from as quickly as possible. So it takes a lot of skill, right? Because they have to shoot while they're riding and then also do it as quickly as possible. But maybe, one thing that I learned, obviously I, I don't ride horses. I bought the hat right before I went. This isn't even a cowboy shirt. This is a Robert Graham shirt. 
but I thought it would be cool for this video because this is as close as I can get to it. Anyhow, what I wanted to say is that I learned that if while they're riding, they lose their hat, they lose points. That's a big deal. But what does all of this have anything to do with filmmaking and this channel? Well, oh. Okay, that was a close one. It's, uh, yeah. It's really windy out here. It's really windy out here. So, I just about lost my camera. <laughs> that would have been really funny. Anyhow, what does this have anything to do with filmmaking, cameras, and workflow?